Γεια σα, Angela Wamna. Φλέον in this is Let's Play Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. In the last episode, we brought the queen back to normal? Yes, something like that. And in this episode, we are actually going to do some side questing here in town. So, that's actually about it. And I'm also going to try to fix something that I messed up last episode. A couple of episodes back. Actually, I just missed it, I didn't mess it up, but you, you get the point. So, now that we've saved uh, the Queen, those bulldozers, fighting things, and jiggers are not here anymore. So, you can actually go over here. What's over here? Well, there is this guy. Hey, welcome to the pipe house. I'm here to teach you everything you want to know about pipes. Want to ask about pipes? Well, not really, because there's a kind of pipe that we haven't met yet and I want to explain by myself. And there's one that we've met and there is no need to explain, so no. See you later. Come if you don't want to ask. Yeah, he's actually a jerk. So, that's pipe number three. You got it. And let's leave. Uh, this will actually help you return to town from any um, green pipe, so that's about it. Those red pipes here will actually loop, so nothing about it, so let's just move on. From this side of this play, of, of, last place, of this place, we have a photographer. A photographer will actually change your passport photographs if you so want for a price, of course. I believe that price is 100 coins. How about a picture? Right, oh yeah, let's do it. I'll submit a great picture for you. Well, what? You want a picture taken? No. Oh yes, yes, you pick. Oh, I started taking it back again. You want a picture taken? No. Alright. And there's something here. I do not know what that is. Oh, coins. Cool. And I believe there's also something here? No. No secrets. Hmm. Uh, so. That's about... That's all about this area. Now, next up on our list is... Well, the town is now fixed, surprisingly, since our trip to Charcoal the town now is fixed, so no words about it. Which means that this place is now open. Hey, this is the fame Star Beans Cafe. Yeah, Star Park, Star Beans. <laughs> Not too good on the jokes there, but it's okay. That everyone's a buzz about. Got any complaints? Compliments? Now, you already know about their special Star B system, right? No. Right, though. Then listen up good as I explain to you. The Star B system was created by Star Beans Cafe to expand our menu when you bring us beans. Beans, beans. Here's the deal. Get to learn beans by digging or battling or playing mini games, then bring them here. When you bring us new kinds of beans, we'll add them to your menu. And nefariously pay on them. <laughs> by the way, at the moment I'm then need I'm needing these beans. Whoa. Yes, I'm needing these beans in this quantities to expand my menu. Who who blend 25 go, who, uh, who beans? Who who blend 25 who beans? Chuckle blend 25 chuckle beans. Tihi blend 25 he beans. Hulu bean 15 who beans and 10 who beans. Chacochino 15 who beans and 10 chuckle beans. And Tihi espresso 15 who beans and 10 uh, he beans. I'm sorry about that. The more my menu expands, the more customers, customers will come to the par Wow. Partake in my wonderful bean juice. Will you join our per B system? Yes. Right on. Then show me the beans you've collected. What's your order? Before going blindly and making orders, here's the thing. Every time you make a new blend, One Wuhu blend ready to go. 
The first time you do that... Whoa, got power outage? Oh man, I've got a bad feeling about this. Lead is not something. Looks like the aroma of your new drink has drawn out all the costs in this place. Oh, I was wondering who it would be if it isn't the beloved owner of our cafe, Professor E. Gad. Welcome to my Starbins Cafe. Seeing you two, which is the most unexpected chance meeting. Hey, you guys know the owner? That bending machine is our owner's latest invention. Are you trying the drinks made by my latest, latest invention, the wondrous Bin Bin machine? Its stimulating flavor will put a spice tingling in your cheeks. Yes, quite a tingle indeed. Heh, <laughs> the rich aroma. Uh, the rich aromatic fragrance of that drink. I sense that it's a drink that even I haven't partaken of. May, may I have a drink? Hmm, a deli- uh, a deli- wow. A delicately bit of flavor, but one that makes me carve, crave more. This stuff goes- uh, gives me the energy to push my ghost research into a new dimension! Thanks for the sampling. Here's a little something I in my spare time. Maybe it will aid you. And we got the grid wallet. Well, I hope you will continue to frequent my fine cafe. I'm always happy to give friends uh, to have friends partake in the fine flavors produced by my bin bin machine. Uh, not for now. So, we got the grid wallet. Yeah, actually, let me check something. Uh, too bad. Uh, I believe it's too bad. But yeah, mm -hmm. I'm five who been short. Fuck. I miscalculated them. I will do it between the episodes, or even in this episode, if I'm lucky enough. So, now you have accessories. There are seven accessories in this game, the only way to get them is by making new coffees. This is the grid wallet, which will double the coins you get from Masters, pretty obvious. And that's about it. Unfortunately, I'm missing Goobins to make another coffee. But hopefully the, I will actually get enough Wobbins by the end of this episode. Actually, I was going to do this at the end of this episode, but let's do that part now. So a couple of episodes ago, while going between uh, here and the Chuckle Beans, I went to research a little bit over here in, in this area. Uh, and I actually missed this part. So, go down here, there's another green pipe. And that's pine 4. I... I knew that was here, but I was kind of forgetful. Also, I believe that... yeah. So, when Mario is short, he can actually know when something is underground. This is actually going to become more important later in this episode. Um, no, I want Lich to dunk and take that. Great. Uh, I will actually walk back to the city because I kinda want to fight some masters so that I can take some Rubens. And hopefully I will get the five I need. If I don't, I will just explain more about Bins in a little while. Actually, while I'm here, let me show you something. Since, I mean, it's right in front of me. So, and I will have to come back here later, so might as well. Do you see this circle here? When you see circles like this, you want to... No, you want to dunk Luigi and you will get a bean fruit. There are, I believe, eight of those around the land and you do not need to find them all now. I just found though that by, you know, just looking at it and knowing about the game. But... Really, there's no point in actively searching them for them now. If you just see one, just go for it now that you have the Luigi Dunk. Okay, I will now see you in the town. <laughs> Alright, we're back at Starbin's Cafe and I have the five more that I needed. Yes. 
So this time our order is the Checotino, yeah. 15 of these and 10 of these, simple enough. One Checotino ready to go. You got the Checotino. Oh, merci! Yet another friendly rich aroma. Oh, Professor Gad! We just now added this new drink to our menu. What great timing on our part. It's not timing that brought me here, no siree. The scent of that new drink threw me in. Yeah, from over the hills and across the sea, I came walking. Wow, that's some nose you've got. Now then, might I have a quick sampling of this new drink? How does it taste? Delicious. This may be the next big drink. You've burned well. Thanks for that sampling. Here's a little something I invented in my spare time. Maybe it will aid you. And that's the bonus drink. <laughs> oh, 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 all of a sudden I have a bad tummy ache. Perhaps this drink is just... Frank is the cause of the shake? Further proof that every rose has a store. Maybe you just dark too much. Oh, uh, uh, where's the restroom? Boss, you never built any toilets in this place. Hee! Oh, that's the Poltergeist 3000. Luigi? Are you planning on being the janitor around here? Hee! Yep. Luigi still knows his way to the poltergeist from Luigi Mansion. So, now we have another accessory. So let's equip it to Luigi, even though it's actually one of the least useful accessories. Double XP. Don't lose any HP in battle for an XP bonus. Basically a double. Um, I mean, if you're good enough, it's worth your effort, but... I don't believe you will see me using that because there's better accessories in this game. So, there are four kinds of beans in this world. There are the hook beans which are green and you get them by fighting. There are the green ones, the he beans, uh, which you get by mini games. Uh, mini games like the border jump and the train thingy. I will actually get into them a, bit, a little bit later, I actually need to show something about the border jump which means that I will actually need to do some levels on it. Uh, there are more mini games about that, so no worries. There are the red ones which you find underground, the chuckle beans, as you've seen already. And lastly, there are the brown ones, the hoof beans, which are the rarest beans in this game. There is no way to grind them yet, neither the red nor the brown ones. Uh, and the only way to find the brown ones, the brown ones is either by finding invisible blocks around the world. That's what I've been searching for all along and I haven't found one yet and I do not know where they are. I just assume places that they could be, they weren't there, I'm sorry. And by doing one mini game that we haven't found yet. And there is also a place where there are a lot of food beans, but that's very late game, so I'm sorry about that. Uh, you can get the yellow ones, the heat beans, right now. You can grind them if you want. Just go back to the star fields and do the border jump, or if you're better at the train, do that. I'm horrible at both of those mini games. Uh, I will grind them a bit later where there is a better one. But I will actually try to do the border jump. If I can't, I will just. I don't know, I will just mention what's happened there. Uh, the, the other one is pretty straightforward, I will talk about it later. So, on to our next business. I am perhaps this town's greatest intellect. At present, it is the ancient soybean civilization that has captured my focus and attention. 
Would you like to hear my report on the great civilization, civilization of yours? Yes, why not? The ancient soybean civilization, the age of flying spin beans, standing mold beans, and fast moving dust beans. Yes, all evidence points to this advanced bean civilization once gracing this land. And as far for the whereabouts of the bean stones, the hair. Here, therefore, hidden treasures of the Sabin, I have perhaps stumbled across some astounding facts related, related to the, I'm amazing at English, to this matter. I theorize this, that perhaps the beanstones were indeed buried and still less, less, less beneath this very town. I desire so greatly to dig this town down to its foundations, and even deeper if I need it. Yet how am I? How am I? How? Yet how am I even? Guess where to begin digging? Where the mind recoils at the thought. I ask you this: How happy would I be if the two of you were to dig up these artifacts for me? Quite happy indeed. Of course, I could perhaps reward you. Can you find the jewels for the uh, of the soybean civilization, the bean stones? Yes. Fascinating. You are the bold specimens. I theorize that there are actually 10 beanstones waiting to be unearthed. Yes, indeed. If you recover all 10 for me, perhaps I might reward you. By the by, my theory suggests that ancient soy beans were perhaps rather on the short side. Perhaps such information might provide you with a clue of some sort, of some sort during your beanstone research. It's actually a very big clue. Everything you just said and theorized is actually right. There are 10 beanstones and I have notes here. You, you, can you hear them? <laughs> uh, so I can actually remember what the fuck those things are. There are 10 of those and if you want to find them kind of easier, by having short Mario you will actually get a clue. Like I've already said, there should be one around here. Right, so this is the place. Um, yeah. Uh, all right, switch. And all right, we got one of them. Yes, they kind of look like chaos emeralds. So that's one of them. Uh, one should be somewhere around here. Uh. Hmm. Okay, I know that there is one. Uh, all right, right here. All right. So big, and we got two. Uh, but I um. Oh, right here. Uh, where? Um, oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Stop jumping. Um, uh, no, it is around here, but let me pinpoint it. Yeah, I know that's not too fun to watch, but I I must get it out of the way. Alright, here's one. I remember that there should be one. No, get out of there. The other way around. There should be one around here. Mm, yeah, it should be one. Oh, there we go. Let me pinpoint it. Oh, there we go. Right, and... Gotcha. And now here's the hardest one to find, because... It is... Oh! <laughs> here's the hardest one to find, I'm standing right on top of it. Alright, and we got five. There are five in this area, and there are five over here. So, one should be somewhere around here. Oh, here we go. 
and sweets. All right. Uh, the next one should be around here. And let's switch. Gotcha. So, while we're at it, the next one is around here. But while we're at it, let me talk about these spots here. This here is actually a shop. Let, let this person actually explain it. <laughs> Welcome. Despite appearances, this is most definitely a shop. The project we're dealing is information. So would you like some quality information for only 100 coins? How about it? No thanks, actually. Uh, this We don't need any information here. He will actually help you remember or actually point you in the right direction of what to do next if you're stuck, but at this point I'm not stuck. There is actually a point that I will actually, you will actually need to request his help at the beginning of a mission. No, not the beginning of a mission. Um, to find something that you do not by, you know, by yourself know on your first playthrough. Uh, no, actually, Mario should be. Mario should be small, alright, it's around here, oh, there we go. And switch. Alright, and the last one, come on. The last one is somewhere around here, I, I should have been, oh. I should have been more specific with my notes, but I mean, it's fine now. And we got the last Chaos Emerald. Oh, I mean, been so. And let's actually deliver them. Oh! You have found all 10 of the soy beans sparkling beanstones. With this evidence, I can at last announce my hypothesis. Perhaps. <laughs> Perhaps I should reward you for your, for your endeavors. I believe that you will accept this reward, I promise you. And we got the Bros Rock. That's actually a badge. I do not remember what it does. Let me actually try to see. Uh, the Brozark. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's actually give it to... To... Let's over here. 63 and 50. And let's give him the bin. One. Am I am I being the jerk to Mario? Uh, I sort of feel bad for Mario actually, <laughs> because I keep giving all the cool items to Lazy. I mean, yeah, he has the good wallet, but he just has it because we got that first. Uh, I will see what I do, I will see what I do. Yo, 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 bros, you two traveling dudes? I am like hurting over here in a big, big way, bros. Okay, I'll stop this. Can you help me bin out? Sure. Sorry, bro, seriously, bros, my little pet binlets up and took off on me. Poor little binlets. If you can catch all five of them, for me, I'll totally make it work for you. You'll be like, score. Pinners are tiny and green and stuff, plus they're all round. You can't miss them, seriously. The thing is, they end, you know, super motivated, so no way those little dudes will have left town. Come on, bros, I know you guys can take uh, care of, on, of business. Take your super on, get your super on. Okay, so we're looking for five binlets, and the first one is super easy to find, it's right here. Uh, now the rest are kind of on the hard side to find. And I am actually going a little bit long for this with this episode, but okay, I just want to finish the... Um, no, actually I want the super jump here. I just want to finish that and I will talk about the rest of the town in the next episode. Another one over here. There is one right here. The next one is over this way, behind this house. 
Yeah, I actually know where these are better because they're not underground and I can actually see them. <laughs> and the last one, you have to go over here and jump down. And here it is. But it was definitely shorter. You know, you're not the guy. Here's the guy. Yo, my poor little binnet buddies, you got them all back for me. Yo, many thanks, bros. I'm practically, I'm practically, wow, I'm practically crying. I'm so relieved that those those legs are safe. Anyway, right on, bros. Here's the reward I promised you, and the golden mushroom, which is by far worse than the bugs we got. Do not uh, waste the golden mushrooms. They're very important. You will need them later. Yes, I know that's kind of hard, this, but you will need them later. Trust me on this one. It will make your life very easier. That's about this. That's about everything in this place here. Yes. See you guys next time.